Have you ever wanted to study the Bible in a way that made sense of the whole thing from Genesis to Revelation? Have you ever thought about doing that in the context of all the historical and cultural background so that you might feel that you were walking in the very steps where Jesus walked? Have you ever wanted to do all that in the context of a conversation with the global church about the implications of God's Word in our world today? Well, that's why we started Bible Journey. You start in the text looking for repetition and structure and, and words and themes that will be important throughout the Bible and look at ways that the whole Bible is interconnected. It was the book with stories, stories that kindled the imagination, in particular, of course, the stories about the patriarchs. Jesus was telling a story about a man who actually cared, a man who bandaged the, the poor man and took care of him, he brought him to an end. It's like from the tablet to the tablet. That's when Moses gave us tablets, and now we have new tablets, the technology. Then we use really great media and visuals to give people a sense of the background that's cultural, historical, archaeological. You know, you can look at the Bible and it's such a big book. It can be intimidating where you're going to start. And I think Bible Journey has created that perfect way to say it's okay. Um, it's not going to be intimidating. You can start anywhere. You can start in any funnel and then they'll guide you through it. So that's what I love about that curriculum. A perfect place to set up a high place right here, which is just what Jeroboam did. This became the place where Jesus had a headquarters in Galilee. Between Jaffa and Caesarea, Christianity evolves from a Jewish movement to a global movement. Here at the ancient first century port of Cancrea, Paul took off to head back to Jerusalem because he wanted to fulfill a vow, a Nazarite vow. Then we go in front of the text and we start to ask the bigger questions about the impact and the implications of Scripture for people all over the world. Do you see that, uh, the story of Joseph playing out in your life and reconciliation and family connections? My personal life actually, even before the genocide, was of uh, betrayal by my own family. I had always very merry pictures of little animals having fun, getting into the boat. But after seeing the tsunami of uh, 12 years ago, my whole idea changed. So as a Samaritan, I'm the one of this community who's keeping the rules of God and the rules of Torah. They say that was from the time of Jesus. For so many people, reading scripture is one thing, making scripture come alive is another thing. It's like a pop-up book. They learn to associate fun, exciting, cool, tacky, geek stuff with the Bible. I never knew until Dr. Leniak's class that the Bible was all one story, that it was all connected. To listen to the testimonials of the people and the transformation in the lives that took place was just very powerful for us. We want to do whatever we can to take you all the way into the world of the Bible, the world behind the Bible, and we want to also take you into that world in front of the Bible where God's people are trying to make sense of His Word, and that's our goal.